Hey, what is going on, Madden family? This is a uh, this is not something normally we do, uh, you know, here on the channel. But I wanted to sort of like get this out there because this could potentially save someone some coins uh, for tomorrow. So uh, EA released a tease for tomorrow's Ghost of Present, and it is Patrick Mahomes, and he's a 94 overall. What does he look like? He looks like this. Um, so basically, it's a really good Mahomes, right? Uh, powered up, he's going to be able to get a skate bar, dashing dead eye, all this sort of stuff. It's not quite what I wanted. I wanted a 95 Mahomes powered up to 96. That just makes the card even better uh, because he could have gotten Playmaker and other stuff. He gets a lot of the Tier 3 abilities in Tier 2 then, um, but that didn't happen. But we know that if he's a 94, the other ones are probably 94s as well. This isn't uh, the Master. Got to assume it's not the Master, right? Uh, if they're doing it the way that they did Ghost of Future, where it was put in three cards, get a master with one overall higher. So assume maybe there's three, uh, probably three. Ghost of Presence, put in for master uh, to get 95 overall. So the, the key and the important part here is this. Um, we know that a lot of these cards could be expensive, right? And the market, uh, for the way things are right now, is down. If you look at Christian McCaffrey, uh, you could go out and you could buy him right now for 270 His price is rising just a little bit. Um, but if you wanted to sort of secure a Mahomes at 270 I'm not saying he's going to be 270 He might be a little more expensive. He might even be less expensive. It's kind of doubtful. Um, but you can do that because we know that there's probably going to be a Ghost of Present reroll set. McCaffrey is currently 7,430 kindling when you quick sell them. You've got to imagine that there's about a 5% difference uh, from the cost of the roll set to the cost of the quick sell because you have to lose some each time. So you're probably talking 76, 7,700 on the roll tomorrow. So a McCaffrey and something else means that you could roll and get Mahomes for under 300K. Guaranteed right now. Bam. Or any of the other ghosts as well. What that then means is that you'd be able to get the 394s and the 95, uh, assumedly for around 900,000 coins. Now, 900,000 coins is expensive. I know not a lot of people have a million coins sitting around. But if you prepare and you plan accordingly, you could actually sort of get ahead of the game and lock in the price. Again, I'm not saying that Mahomes is going to be 280, 300k. He might be. But... He might be less, small chance, or he might be more, and this could save you coins. I am stocked up and ready to go. So we stocked up, okay? Um, again, the reason for this is I want to lock in the price right now. I'm okay with knowing that I'm going to be able to finish that set tomorrow for 200 and I bought all mine for around 270 Um, So I'm just going to make sure the math's right. So 800 uh, 10k plus whatever the the roll cost is. So even if you include five rolls in there, 1500 kindling, talking about 60k. So it's going to cost me about 870 uh, to finish the set tomorrow. And then we could obviously sell the cards, um, or quick sell them or, or or whatnot. Who knows? It's it's a it's a good option. Um, just because we know we have this idea, something we definitely didn't have the idea last year when things came out, which is why. Uh, the price of snow really went up, and the price of kindling hasn't really moved yet, honestly. We see, we see these cards that go up and down right now. Cards have gone up a little bit tonight, 5 to 8%, uh, just based on what I've seen. Um, he'll be in the roll sets, obviously, as well. But it just makes a lot of sense to go ahead and try to do that, if you can afford to. And that's what I did, and I know a lot of other people who did that as well. Uh, so, like, we have a lot of McCaffrey's, we've got some Leonard's, we've got some Durbin James, you know, and they're, they're, uh, all these cards, you know, they're auctionable. So we could get rid of them if we ever need to. Um, I don't think that kindling is going to fly up like in years past. Um, it would take something really, really big to do that. Like a Blitz weekend where kindling is the main source of currency for it. Could happen. He hasn't teased anything about it, but it's still, it could be a thing. Uh, we may also be getting out of position tomorrow as well. So there could be a lot of kindling being used. Which is going to drive prices up. Uh, because right now there's not a lot of reason to do stuff. Yeah, you can get Bruce Smith, but 
he's again as i said before he's not the sexiest card not everyone wants to put him on their team he's really good he's really good but he's not and then there's the roll sets which people are doing uh for like sherman or ghost now people haven't gone all in on ghost yet because there's no real reason need to um and then even on sherman doing the 85 plus set the loss on it isn't isn't a ton so people aren't losing a lot what caused a lot of it last year as well was gifts, right? So when you rolled snow for a gift, that snow was now off the market. There hasn't really been a law that has taken snow off the market because people haven't really kept the cards that are in the game. Once we get a lot of usable cards, that could definitely change things uh, for sure. If they, were, they put limited edition gifts or God knows whatever else in the game, right? There's lots of things they could do. So if you want to prepare, this is how I've prepared. I always try to keep you guys in the loop. I know I said a little something on Twitter, but I know not everyone's on Twitter either, right? That's just a fact. A fact that they're not. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. So, like, expect this tomorrow for it to be a 94 overall player, right? Um, you could load up on training if you really want to. It's still kind of cheap. I don't think that this 78 plus set, uh, despite that poll, has a lot of return in it still. Um, I don't know, you, you get so many low cards, which just are L's. 85 plus also gives you L's as well, but it could work out in your favor. It could not, who knows? But I'm not investing in kindling or, or, or the players necessarily. Uh, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm trying to lock prices in on these future cards. That's my goal. So I know, I know what my cost is. Uh, my coin total right now uh, should be... Uh, should only go up from here. I shouldn't have to buy a bundle or do anything like that. I probably will, and I'll probably do some dumb stuff and get some more gifts and do all this. But what I'm trying to do is make sure that, hey, if there's a card that comes out and it requires kindling, I can just get it, bam, right when I want. Hey, look at that. Hey, Darius. Um, so that's, that, that's my plan. That's how we're operating right now. Right now. It just makes sense to me. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you. And again, if you can't afford it, you know, this isn't, maybe it's not for you. Or maybe you can't afford it. And this is a good thing. Uh, like I said, it's just up and down and up and down and up and down. I don't want to pull another Sherman. Hope Maybe we get another limited tomorrow too. That would be really nice. Really, 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 really nice. Now, as far as speculation on the ghost of present master tomorrow, I feel like it has to be defense. I really do. Uh, I want to just, you know, be biased and say, oh, it's Julio Jones. But Scary Terry is a wide receiver. I don't think they're going to do two masters of the same position for that. Uh, and then we also get NFL 100 receivers tomorrow. But it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I know Tech said Luke Keekley uh, for his guess, which is fair. Um, but there's also Vaughn Miller and Stephon Gilmore who are really lacking uh, upgrades. Maybe even someone like Pat Pete, who's not too highly rated, uh, could get the upgrade too. Uh, any one of those cards could be really good. Uh, I did not go buy any. I did not go invest in any, though. Because, again, anytime we're talking pure speculation, I'm not spending my coins on speculation. I'm just not. Except for the gifts. But the gifts, again, for content. Okay? A lot of stuff, what we do... Uh, is for content. I know that Scomo has the method and Toke has this method of how they roll and roll and profit. Uh, if I didn't pull Sherman, I would have lost huge on the packs. I pulled no, I still have not pulled the ghost, which is ridiculous, but I haven't. I was hoping that that was just going to be like, oh, it's a ghost. Yeah, of course, here comes a ghost. So um, just be prepared. If you want to be prepared, be prepared. If you don't want to be prepared, don't be prepared. Um, Again, I'm not telling you you're going to make 100,000 coins on an investment or a million coins on an investment. Don't take this as that because I know people will because people stop listening. What I'm saying is if you want to say and you're okay with the idea of paying 270 to 300 k for Mahomes, you can go pay that right now. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. Maybe his price goes down. But for me personally, getting a 94 Mahomes, best quarterback in the game until they release another one, it's a good price, so I'm okay with it, but I do appreciate it. I know it's a late night upload. It happens. It happens. 
whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1030. I'm out. Peace. We actually have to hit the stop button sometimes. Bonus content. I am, I like the gifts, I think. I don't know. <laughs>